Moving on. The second funny fantasy story, The Mystery of the Crooked Mountain. A story about what to do if one day you found that your house is suddenly on top of a huge mountain. Kinda. Alright, everything seems to be cool. So yeah, I upgraded the houses a little bit, made them looking a bit more interesting because Kevin mentioned that we should fix that. The houses should look like they're from the fantasy world, so yeah, not just the huts. So yeah, this is pretty awesome for what it should be. Moving on. Drops of Democracy. A story about the most disgusting person that's ever been written about. A concept of self-hatred being projected into the hatred towards everything and the desire to end it all. So after reading the story, I came up with an idea of making the whole cover as a piece of skin that has the title cut into it. And this awkward thing in the middle instead of O is a drop of blood at the moment of hitting the surface of the skin. We're gonna have to make it look a lot more believable in color. So this is supposed to be a very dark and gory and brutal self-mutilating kind of cover. It doesn't have a pair, this cover is just on its own like this, which is kind of interesting. So let's start. Okay, I guess this is it for this one. A lot better than I expected to get in just a few dozens of minutes of work. Obviously needs more work in the details of the cuts, but generally it looks pretty damn impressive already. Like, painful. We'll work a bit more on the texture of the skin and whatnot, gonna look pretty dope. Moving on. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I'm really tired already, this is... I'm gonna do this one tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, see you in a second. Alright, let's keep going. So, this one is supposed to have the feeling of uh, like a cyber world. It shouldn't look like an actual bone, an actual skull, an actual brain, but should more look like an um, electronic x-ray kind of look with glowing edges and whatnot. So we're gonna have to search this one a little bit. Not to mention that the amount of detail is insane. So let's start. Alright, I think this will be it. Looking really awesome, 
I added some grid on the top of the skull to emphasize the cyber style. Also, there's a layer that turns these connections into more of a neuron. Neuron. How do you pronounce that? Anyway, more organic look with these kind of soft connections. Plus some particles, I don't know why, but why not? So yeah, the font needs to be straightened up a bit and maybe the spine joints as well. But I'll do that later when I'll transport everything to Photoshop. Moving on. Psychodelia. A story about a disintegrating mind of a psychiatrist. Or a psychoanalyst. Never mind. This one and the previous one are written in a very specific, intense style. It was really hard to understand what's going on there. So Kevin helped me with the concepts for both of them. The previous one with the brain was also Kevin's idea. So these horses are running away and they're kind of like hitting us, the viewer, as they run away. White background, black horses, almost like black and white picture with a little bit of high contrast gradients, I suppose. So let's give it a go. Okay, this is it for this stage, I think. Pretty much only small details of hair left and whatnot. Well, this was pretty fun. I played around with Fresnel effect on the black horse material and with the air perspective to show all the geometry, plus also the dust that rose from the ground from the running horses. So yeah, I think it's looking really cool. Not sure about the white eyes, that's why they're in a separate layer. Up to Kevin. Also, he asked me to maybe think on a different position of the title. I will do that in Photoshop. But generally, I still want to try this one. It's gonna be like a white title on the black horse. I think it's kind of awesome. And it should be like vertical long, maybe a bit more vertical than this. We'll see. And so we finally got to the main cover. Tales Untold, Kevin Folk. A troubled soul lies here. Linger's here, a troubled soul, a troubled soul lies here. Complex, 1996-1967. I love this kind of sublimation thing. This is the mock-up, or actually like even a version of a cover that Kevin made himself. And we decided that I'll make it look more like a stone and render it with some lighting, but with no background, like, it's gonna stay this way, like, just the whole face of the book will be the stone itself. But I'll also add some decor stuff in the style of Art Nouveau. I probably pronounced it wrong, but it's written weirdly, so don't blame me. In Russian it's called modern style, but you can't say that in English because it's an actual word here. Anyway, the point is it's gonna have like a smooth, airy kind of uh, spiral swirly things in a very aesthetic way. So let's start with building up the base of the material of the stone and uh, then search further on. Okay, well, this was a lot of fun experimentation. Hope this is something that Kevin wants to see, because I really don't know. 
I looked up like a hundred of different tombstones in Art Nouveau style and this is what I came up with after that. I think it looks kind of awesome, but yeah, it's really up to Kevin if he likes it or not. Also, I gotta say it felt really weird designing a tombstone for Kevin. This is the way he wanted it. Weird. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. 10 covers. We're all done. So this is it. One, two, three, four. You know the rest. This one's insane. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll be detailing these further on if Kevin is happy with everything that we did here. I probably won't film the details because that's really not boring, but I won't be able to say anything about it. It's just a lot of making things accurate. But yeah, tell me what you think. Was it interesting to see how to paint 10 covers in uh, about 8 hours? To a certain level of details. Whenever the collection will be ready, you can find it on Kevin's website, kevinfolk.com or something. I don't know, Google Kevin Folk. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend. Party hard. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. This just looks so cool. I need to go to the bathroom, but I can't look away.